Hi, if you've followed me on YouTube for a while, you know that a lot of the products I talk about are either vacuum cleaners, washing machines, sometimes a bit of tech in there as well. But today I'm gonna to be talking about something a little bit different. This is a cotton candy or a candy floss maker. And you'll realize that I've got someone helping me today. This is my son, William. Hello. So as soon as I mention food or anything like that, then William's more than happy to come along and help me in the video. He did help me in one of my other videos and he really enjoyed it and he got some ice cream out of it. So I suppose hopefully he's thinking if he helps me in this video, he's gonna get some cotton candy out of it. Anyway, this is something that I thought it was a little bit different, uh, a little bit fun. I quite like doing some of these videos where it's a little bit different from the norm. Um, anyway, first of all, when I unboxed it, because I have put this together, there's not really a lot to do. Uh, all you need to do to put it together is just pop this on the top. So you will see in the side here. So these are the two heating elements. I'll show you this in a bit more detail when I first switch it on. So you've got the heating elements. And what will happen is when I put the sugar in the top here, that will spin around and the heating elements will just heat this uh, disc up. And then normally it does say in the instructions after about 10 minutes of this being heated up properly and you put the sugar in, then you should start to see some candy floss. Anyway, we'll test that in a moment. But as far as putting it together, there's not really a lot to it. Uh, all you need to do is secure that on top. So just locate that. Push that down so it clips in place. That's nice and secure now. Um, as far as the dimensions on this, so I suppose if you're gonna have it uh, either on your kitchen counter or on a table somewhere, I normally try and go through the dimensions. Anyway, William, what's the... So as far as the size of it, so we're gonna give you it in inches and centimeters. So that is 11 inches and 29.2 centimeters. Okay, there we go. And the only, oh, and the only other thing I'd do is I'd measure the lead for you, because uh, sometimes it can make a difference where it goes, depending on the length of the mains lead. So if I hold that out for you. That is 35 inches. And how many centimeters is that? That is 89. Centimeters. So about 89 centimetres, there we go. So I actually had some help unboxing this as well. Uh, what else did we get in the box with? So we have 10 wooden sticks and we have one measuring spoon. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at those. So as William said, we've got 10 of these sticks and we've got a measuring spoon. Now this is quite important, the measuring spoon. Um, clearly you don't want to put too much sugar in there. Uh, anyway, unfortunately we've chosen one of the hottest days of the year to record this. So we're sat out here in the conservatory at the moment and it's roasting hot. Anyway, we're going to crack on. I'll be honest, I've never actually used a candy floss or cotton candy maker before. Uh, so I have done a little bit of research beforehand. Uh, there are certain sugars that you can get and there are the flavoured sugars or I suppose the main idea is that there are different colours sugars as well. At the moment, I haven't got one of those. I'm gonna see how well normal sugar does. Um, in the research I've done, uh, quite a few people are saying that you can just use either normal granulated sugar or caster sugar. So at the moment, to start off with, I've got some caster sugar. This was in my cupboard anyway. Um, also, it does say you can actually use hard boiled sweets. So that's something I'm gonna try afterwards, which I'm quite excited, because again, that will add a, a different flavor to it rather than just a sugary flavor. Uh, but really what I want to do now is I think we need to get it plugged in and switched on because in the instructions, and I say instructions because I have read the instructions this time. Uh, if you, again, if you follow me on YouTube for a while, you'll know that I'm not a huge fan of instructions, but with something like this where I'm not too sure how it works, then I have read through the instructions. So it's quite a, quite a first for me. Uh, but in the instructions, when I read them, it did say that you need to plug it in and let, the, let it heat up for about 10 minutes. Uh, so that's really what we want to do first. So do you want to do the honors? There we are, and we've got an on off switch on the back here. So if you want to switch that on as well, Will. Uh, 
So there we are. So that at the moment is heating up. Right, I'm just going to zoom in just to show you what's going on here. Not on William. Ooh. Anyway, you can just see underneath there, so the disc is spinning away nicely. Uh, you can see the heating elements, they're already hot, they're, they've heated up within moments. Uh, I can feel the heat already, so I just put my hand above it, that's getting, getting pretty warm. Uh, but it does say to give it about 10 minutes, so, so just while this is warming up, uh, again, I have to read through the instructions, and it does say, with the hard candy, it is better if you can crush it up. Uh, I suppose it can save time uh, for, by the time it's actually melted within the candy floss maker. Uh, so I have bought some mints. Right, wait, 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 which one are we going to pick? That's the mint humbug. Excellent choice, that's one of my favourites. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and crush that uh, just while this is warming up. So we're giving about 10 minutes and we can certainly feel the heat coming off here. Um, hopefully we're about ready to start making the candy floss. Uh, I will just note that towards the beginning of the heating process there was a slight burning smell. Uh, clearly that's nothing to worry about, it's just going to be the dust on the heating elements when it's first heated up. The same with anything, uh, you do find with things like a new cooker, a new microwave, anything like that, that heats up. First of all you get that smell but after about 30-40 seconds it disappeared so no need to worry there. So I just changed the camera angle, hopefully so you can see within the candy floss maker. Now, as I say, uh, I, in the research I did, it did say that you can use caster sugar. Uh, apparently the caster sugar is better than normal granulated sugar because it's much finer. Uh, I, suppose, I suppose it's gonna be less time that it's actually melting or creating the candy floss. Uh, although the proper flossing sugar that you can get, and I'll, I'll provide a link here because this is what, what I was gonna get and I might end up getting some anyway. Uh, but the main difference is it can be even finer and also it's got different colours to it, so it's just a little bit more fun. Anyway, so I've got my cheeky little measuring spoon and what we're going to do is you just put one spoon in there so I'll make sure that it is level, try not to spill any. Now as a responsible adult, I'll put that responsible parent, uh, even William has uh, whether he agrees with that or not, but I've just asked him to sit to the side when I've got heat on here, something spinning. I just want to make sure we're um, not we're out of the way, it's not that I don't trust it, but I just want to make sure that I'm doing a, a parental responsibility of keeping him out of the way. Anyway, I'm just going to stand to the side and I'm just going to pop this in the middle here. So you just pop this in gently while it's spinning. There we go. So, so I'm not quite sure how long this will take, but this, and apparently you need to keep it away from the uh, from the heating element. Clearly. Um, and you need to keep doing this. Because you don't want to build up of the sugar inside. I must say, I'm quite impressed with this. Yeah. And you certainly got the smell. There's quite a quite a distinctive smell that you get from from a candy floss maker. Um, okay, that's the first attempt. Not quite sure that's worked as well as I had anticipated, although I think it's because some of the sugar actually got around the heating element, so it melted it a little bit there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put more in. Just to, there we go. So it starts to make it really quickly and perhaps that's what I failed at before. There we go. That is a, again, a small amount of K 
candy floss. No? So do you want to try that? Right, so William's going to give it a taste. Is it still warm? Yeah, it is. Okay. Delicious. Right, just try a bit of the fluffy. That's it. Right, so William's giving it an approval. So I think what I'm going to do now is, while it's still heated up, let's try some of the crushed sweet in there. Because I want to see what this is like. So this will be quite interesting, really. Just to see how this does. Um, I'm going to start this off earlier. Because I did find that the... And already noticed that even only after a, a few seconds, I've already got some of the... some of the candy floss being made. So I thought I'd give William a go with this one. See if he can do a better job than I did. And so far, <laughs> looks like he's actually doing a better job. Uh, this is with the the mint humbug sweets. I think it's really a case of that we need to we need to practice with this. But again, as a first attempt, I'd say that's not too bad. Right, do you want to give that a go? Just see what that tastes like. There we are. So just show everyone what that looks like before you eat it. That's, it's not quite as fluffy as I thought, uh, but again, I'm sure it's just the, I'm sure it's just how we're doing it because we've not quite mastered it at the moment. So that's looking, that's looking all right. Is it quite tasty? Tell you what, let's try some of that as well. Mmm. You certainly get like the, the fluffiness of it. Um, that's really good. I think what I'm going to try is I am going to try some of the sugar again. I'm not quite sure if I mastered it properly. William seems to have a better knack at it. So let's see if he can, if he's better at doing this than I am, which I think he is. So I think this is very much a case of, it's quite a knack to do it. Um, I will practice a bit more. And you can see, as, as it's coming around the edge, that that could be the way that we should be doing it. Um, but I think as a, as a first attempt at making candy floss or cotton candy, it's getting better each time. It is getting fluffier. Tell you what, let me try that one. So what we've done is we've turned it off now. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of smoke coming from here. That's just normal. That's just from the, like some of the residual sugar that's within it. Um, when it comes to cleaning it, it's not a problem. I know it looks quite a, I suppose quite a mess at the moment, but it's not an issue. Once it's fully cooled down, and I would recommend just wait till it's completely cooled down because you don't want to burn yourself, take the plastic top off, that just pulls off the top, and then you can just go and rinse that or give it a good wash and within hot soapy water. Uh, and again, just around the center here, just get a, a, a wet cloth and just wipe it around, just get any of the sugar or candy floss from within that. Anyway, I think for our first attempt ever at making candy floss, I've really enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed it, William? Yeah, yeah, great. Good. And again, he got to have something to eat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the candy floss maker. If you're thinking about buying one of these, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I've really enjoyed doing this. Uh, I always enjoy a video where there's something a little bit different, a bit more of an interaction, and especially as I've got my lad William with me as well to help. So I think he's enjoyed it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but all I'd normally say is I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. Um, also, if you have got a candy floss maker, uh, if you've got some examples of what you've made, then just pop it as a picture below or let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching.